We are back from a uh, dinner and guys, I have to tell you guys what happened. We have to ask for some ice because my skin is burning. I got a sunburn but it's really, really, really bad. My face is like burning, it feels like on fire. It's really hot. My stomach as well, it's so bad, it's like literally burning. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to fall asleep tonight. breakfast baby are leaving and going back to the UK today
for another couple of minutes for that weather to come through. Uh, those of you on the right side of the aircraft can probably see a little bit of nice uh, sunshine coming through. Uh, so we estimated that to pass uh, over in about uh, two to three minutes' time. A little bit of rain at the moment, but it uh, should be nice and safe for our departure in the next couple of minutes. Sorry for the delay, but we'll be on the way soon. Many thanks.
take a little hold of the stuff that we got. The first thing oh, is this magnet. It's that Antalya on it. There's only one magnet at the back and it's falling down. So that's the gate that we went to. And the city is really cute. Day before we left, we bought some extra stuff at the supermarket. So I'm going to show you guys the home. We bought some sunflower seeds. This one is sorted, it's delicious. I already showed you guys this part. My mom bought some um, seasonings, some herbs. I don't know what these one called. Some pretzel sticks. This one is my mom's favorite, the sesame seed sticks. Some Turkish tea. My mom and my dad loves um, teas. So we got two packs, one for my grandparents and one for us. I tried the pistachio flavored chocolate, so I bought some for England as well. This one is the Nestle pistachio chocolate and that one is from, uh, a Turkish brand. I also bought this one as well. And these are the extra herbs that my mum bought. I don't even know what these are, I'm just going to show you guys. There are so many. This one is a gift for my grandparents. We got her ball and some herbs as well. I already showed you guys this part, a magnet and a keychain. Yeah, that's it. This one is my keychain. It's that Antali on it and I love the evil eye and a little bit. And this one is my mom's. And now I'm going to show you guys the handbags and the stuff we got from the old bazaar. My mom Dior um, wallet. Look how cute is that. It looks exactly like the original one. So cute. I also bought this Dior, Christian Dior um, bag as well. It looks like the original. They had a different one as well. Sorry about the background noise. They had a different one as well but this one is the first copy and that one was like the second or third copy that one was cheaper but I like this one better and when you open it up sorry I did it one hand it looks like this it has a chain as well it's really cute I love the handle and this is the other bag I got this one is a Louis Vuitton like um, suitcase purse or bag it opens up like this and also has a strap inside. Some underwear as well. This Calvin Klein. These are like underwear, three packs. This one is a three pack Calvin Klein set, like a bra and underwear. And this one is a Victoria's Secret underwear set. This is my dad's um, Armani set. That's the top. Or like this feather. He's modeling for you guys. And there's the trousers or like the sweatpants. It's really cute. I love how it's like a matching set. And or even on this um slippers they had the logo as well. Hi guys, so it's the next day. We landed yesterday and we ran straight to bed because we were so tired and I didn't have the energy to finish this vlog. So I want to tell you guys a quick story time of what happened at the airport. So first, we went straight to the airport and they had a security, like the normal, you have the bag and there's a gate, you know, where they check if you have any metals on. Of course, I beat them. They have to check everything on my clothes, you know, you have to put your arms out and your legs as well. It was painful and everyone at the airport was like, oh my god, you don't look so sunburned. And then we went to um, the bag area like where you have to stand your um, bigger suitcases after that there was another security first they checked your passport and your boarding pass as well then there was another security where they checked your bags in the security gate as well beeped in again checked everything again they didn't find anything of course they checked with the metal as well it was painful because i'm so sunburned and they like touch everywhere um, after that, we went to look for a water 
and everything is so expensive at the Antalyan airport. Everywhere else, like the supermarket is really affordable, but the airport is really expensive. For example, some drinks for like 5 euros, so expensive. It's more expensive than the London Stansted Airport. We bought this small water bottle, like the 500 milliliters one, it was 2 euros. So expensive. After that, we went to the boarding gate, and guys, you're not going to guess what happened. They searched everything. They opened up our suitcases and took out everything, like every single item. Underwears, they took out front of everyone and searched everything. Underwears, socks, literally everything. After that, they checked us again if we have anything on. It was painful. And the lady, she kept pulling down my trousers. It was so embarrassing. Like, pulling down my trousers. I was keep pulling it up. But I was wearing this um, cargo pants. But we landed safe. Well, well, the flight, that was an experience as well. First, the flight was delayed because there was a massive storm. After that, there was a massive air turbulence. Like, the plane was, like, moving like that. Babies were crying, like there were like 10 babies on the flight and each of them were crying non-stop. And we travelled like four and a half hours and we were exhausted when we landed. Yeah, and that was it. I really enjoyed our trip to Antalya. It was so fun. Everything was perfect. Except the week before because I was really ill before we went to Antalya for five days. But a few days before that I was fine, so I was lucky. Everyone was so kind, people were so friendly and helpful. I love how they treat animals like cats and dogs. It was so cute, the place, the hotel was beautiful. And I would go back, to be honest, it was so good. And that was it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed these travel videos as well. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.